When the Kindle Scribe first came out, I think all but the most ardent Amazon fan would agree that it was pretty much released undercooked. It had a soggy bottom, you might say. However, Amazon didn't just leave the Kindle there and think that's good enough. It seems that they listened to feedback and over the last year or so, they've steadily released updates to increase the functionality of the Kindle Scribe until right now, I think it might just about hold its own software wise against the Remarkable 2. So let's have a look at eight of the most significant updates and explore them a little. And let me know in the comments after you've watched the video, which ones you've appreciated the most. Okay, let's dive in. We kick off, which is what is probably a firm fan favorite, the convert to text in export feature. This feature transforms your handwritten notes into text clues in the name, really. Imagine you've just finished jotting down notes from a brainstorming session in your scribe's notebook. These ideas are too good not to share with your team. So how do you do that? Well, there are a few ways, but here's the one you will probably use the most. Go into the notebook that you want to share if you're not there already. Tap the top of the screen to bring up the menu bar. Tap the share icon. It looks like an arrow pointing out of a box. Here, you can choose to share the page you're on or the whole notebook. You'll see options like convert to text and quick send or convert to text and email. Choose your preferred method. Follow the prompts to review and edit the converted text, then share it directly via email. You can share it with up to five email addresses. You can also, at this point, opt to check the attach as searchable PDF. And by checking this box, you'll send it not only as a text file, but a proper PDF, which you can then further edit in your favorite PDF editor. Update number two, Lasso Select Tool. I still can't quite believe that the Kindle Scribe was released without copy and paste as a feature. However, Amazon did quickly sort this one with the release of the Lasso Tool update. There was another famous product first released without copy and paste. And if you know what this was, then please do answer in the comments. The Lasso Select Tool lets you wrangle your words and sketches with ease. Move, resize, or copy and paste your content across other notes and PDFs. Tap the pen icon to bring up your writing tools. Select the lasso tool from the options, and then use your stylus to draw around the text or sketches that you want to move. Once selected, you'll see options to resize, move, or copy. Update three was PDF reading improvements. PDFs got a major facelift with enhanced viewing options, including switching between portrait and landscape and interactive text highlights, plus direct uploads from Microsoft Word to the scribe. However, a word of warning here, to get PDFs onto the Kindle, you can either sideload them using the USB-C connection straight from a computer, or use the send to Kindle feature. If you sideload them, however, you'll only be able to read the PDFs. You won't be able to do any of the things I'm about to show you. The PDF obviously needs to go through some kind of conversion process for the scribe to do the following things. You have a PDF document open. Pinch out on the screen to zoom in and pinch in to zoom out. Tap the screen to access the menu, then find the view options for switching between portrait and landscape modes. You can highlight the text by pressing and holding over the text and then drag to select. A menu will pop up, allowing you to highlight, add notes or look up definitions if you only tap and hold the one word. One finger hold and move will let you move the PDF around while zoomed in. You can also draw on the PDF directly 
or even copy and paste from another document. Update four was right on content. And when I mean right on, I don't mean that's right on. Right on content feature lets you interact with certain books directly on your device. This isn't in a note, it's writing directly onto the digital page. Here's how to find those kinds of books. You gotta to go to the Kindle store from your device's main menu or any other kind of computing device. Search for write on books on Kindle Scribe. Select a title that interests you and purchase it and you'll find it shows up on your device. Now, at the moment, most of this content is either of the quiz or journal slash planner variety. Hopefully Amazon will make more books available to do this with, such as academic type books. So if you get one of these books, you just need to simply open up the book and start writing on the page. Update number five in my list, we're talking about new pen types. For the artists and hardcore note takers, new pen types were introduced not many months after the launch of the Scribe. These offered more versatility for your writing and drawing, and each stroke now feels a little bit more natural. So while in your notebook, you tap the pen icon to reveal the writing tools, you can browse through all the pen types, a pencil, a highlighter, a fountain pen. Each offers a different writing or drawing experience. By tapping on the pen highlighter or pencil icons, it'll bring up further customization options. Select one and start sketching or writing. You can switch between them, see which best suits your style or the task that you have at hand. Update six, enhanced note organization. Organizing your notes has now never been easier. Navigate to your notebooks or notes list, tap the three lines and here's where you'll see a number of different options regarding displaying your notebooks. Tapping the plus button will let you create new folders and move your notebooks into them. You can also create subfolders within folders and really get into the nitty gritty of organization. You can then either create a new notebook within the folder or subfolder by tapping the three dots on a notebook while in the notebook library screen. You can also move an existing notebook to any folder you like. Update seven brought a revised internet browser. Apparently the internet browser received a facelift too and some under the bonnet changes, which the update says makes online browsing smoother and more intuitive. However, I've got to be honest with you and say it feels just as slow and clunky as it does on a normal Kindle, such as my Paperwhite Signature Edition. And I know this for certain as I tested it in a recent video. Maybe it's a smidgen quicker on the scribe. I don't know. Listen, in all seriousness, don't bother with the Kindle browser, no matter what device you're using. Okay, and the final update, number eight, was multi-select in notebook overview. So managing your notebook pages became possible and easier with the multi-select feature. With the introduction of this feature, you can now bulk move, delete, or share pages, streamlining your note-taking process. To do this, you open a notebook in question. You look for the select option, and this will be at the top of the screen. Tap on the pages you want to select, and they should highlight and show a check mark. Once you've selected all the pages you want to move or delete, look for the option to do so in the menu. You can also find options to add new pages or share selected ones. Okay, which update did you appreciate the most? I bet it's either the convert to text or the lasso tool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And what features do you want to see Amazon introduce? If you found this video interesting or useful or both, please do tap that subscribe button. It lets YouTube know this video is worth showing to more people. And if you look closely next to the subscribe button, there's a join button. 
tap that button if you'd like to support me and the channel for as little as three pounds a month, which is less than a cup of coffee from your favorite coffee shop, a lot less. You'll find other ways to support me in the description box as well, and also a link to my Substack account. So if you want even more tech goodness from me, go and subscribe there. I release three, yes, that's three newsletters a week, each one having its own flavor. And these are sent every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Finally, I made a video last year where I dive deeper into the Kindle Scribe. Watch that one together with this video and you'll have yourself a rounded, detailed view of the Kindle Scribe. Okay, until the next video, happy note-taking. Just don't use that browser.